Hey everyone, alright, um, I'm actually really sick right now, um, and I just don't really feel like being on camera, so I thought I would do this video and get it out of the way, since I planned on doing it anyways, and it's actually how to take a synthetic fiber wig that starts out like this, just straight hair, and then turn it into something like this with curls by using boiling water, um, because some synthetic fibers you can't heat style with a flat iron, curling iron, any of those. So I'm going to show you how to do it with boiling water, just in case you have any, um, wigs or any, like, clip-in hair extensions or anything like that where you want to change the texture, but you can't heat style them because they'll melt. So, yeah, I actually show you how to make it curly, and then at the end of the video, I talk about how you can take something like this, that's already comes curly, or if you want to just get rid of these curls after you do this, and make it straight as well. So, yeah, if you want to know how, just keep on watching. Okay, so there's a lot of different kinds of synthetic um, hair. There's, like, synthetic hair like this wig right here, which you cannot use heat styling tools, like a flat iron or a curling iron or anything like that with. Otherwise, the hair will melt, and I actually flat ironed a little part just to show you what it looks like. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see the texture difference. But right here, you can see like right in there that the hair is melted. So it's like very kinky looking, it's crinkly, it looks really, really gross. That happens if you use any kind of heat styling tool like flat iron, curling iron, anything on this kind of synthetic hair. But then you also have synthetic hair like this. Um, this is really nappy, so whatever. But this is another synthetic wig, but this one has a high heat resistant fiber to it. So you can heat style this. You can use your flat iron, your curling iron to style it just like you would human hair. Um, there's many different ways that you can style hair like this. Um, that you can't use a tool with. This is just going to be one of the ways. I'll show you other ways later on. But you can also use this trick. Um, it doesn't have to be a wig. You can do it on hair that's on like a track. You can do it on hair that's braided into your own. Um, there's a certain way you do that. But this one is mainly just going to be how to do like an overall setting a style um, on synthetic hair like this um, using boiling water. So um, now that I have this wig already on a mannequin head, I'm just going to go in with rollers and put the rollers in because I want this to have a nice wave to it instead of being straight. And so when you use rollers to do this um, with the boiling water, you either want to use like perm rods, um, that way you can secure it, or like the foam rods like this, so that way you can actually twist it and it'll stay in place. Or you want to use the um, rollers like this that have the little cage to it, so that way you can just hold it in place, or even like the foam rollers. Um, those are great too because they hold some of the water in the foam and that way the heat stays in there. If you can get your hands on like the old school metal perm rods, those are going to be the best because they um, hold the heat a lot longer, so it's just going to guarantee that the style is set in this a lot better. But what you're going to do is you're just going to section off the hair how you would want it and go ahead and throw in your rollers or whatever you're going to use to get the texture in the hair. So I'm just going to do that very quickly off camera. Another thing I forgot to mention that you can do, um, you can start your water before you do all this if you already know how you're going to do your roller set or um, how you're going to do your style. And then also for the ends, you don't want them to get like crinkled. So you can lightly like mist them with water if you need to and then use like end papers that you would use for um, a perm to make sure that you get the ends in there. Um, it's going to be totally up to you, but you can do any of that. And then if you are using rollers like this that have the cage on them, once you have it on, just pull the little cage back and down like that. You don't want it all the way up here where it would cause a little crease, like an indentation in the hair, because when you actually use the heat, that indentation right there is going to stay there, and you don't really want that. So just pull the little cage back so there's no little line. Okay, so now that I have the water, um, I mentioned earlier that you could use like hair that's already braided into your hair. Um, the way you would do this is you would just take it and you would wrap the braids around whatever you're going to do and then um, you would dip them in the water for a few seconds and then take them out, dry them with the towel very carefully since this water is very hot, um, and then just leave the roller in or whatever that you're using, take it out, and then you'll have that nice curl or texture that you're looking for. Um, then you don't really have to boil water. You can also put like a cup of water in the microwave and do it that way if you're just going to do individual braids like that. 
um, like wrapping around with straw or pencils, pens, rollers, perm rods, doesn't matter. But I'm doing a full wig, so I have this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to take a plastic colander and very carefully I'm going to remove the wig from the head. So now I just have that. And I'm actually going to place that in the colander. So it's just like that. Now I'm going to take the boiling water and I'm just going to pour it all over the whole wig and saturate all of the hair. Now that I have the water poured all over um, the wig, I'm just going to let it sit in the colander for a little bit just so it can cool off. Then once it's cool enough, I'm actually just going to plop it right back on this and let it complete um, its drying process. Now, normally you would want this to dry overnight so that way it has the longest time to set. Um, otherwise, you could use like a blow dryer or anything like that to speed up the process. It's going to be up to you. I'm just going to let mine dry. Um, and then we'll see how I feel a little bit later if I want to take them out yet or not. So this has actually been set in. You can see I already took one of them out. Um, the rollers have been in, I don't even know, it's been over 12 hours pretty much. But now I'm just going and taking all of them out. Um, and you can see that the hair now has a nice curl to it. Um, so I'm just going to go through, take all of these out very quickly, and then we'll go from there. So as you can see, the rollers are out. Um, yeah, and it's got a nice little curl pattern to it. The bottom is still a little damp underneath, so I don't want to mess with the hair too much because I want it to maintain the curl it has. But the last thing that I would do, and I highly, highly recommend this, like, and I can't stress it enough, is to take some kind of shine serum or like an oil sheen or anything like that and lightly spray it or manipulate it into the hair all over the wig and that's because whenever you use boiling water to style any kind of hair um, it takes out the shine so it tends to look a little dull so just using a shine serum oil sheen whatever you choose all over is going to add that shine back and make it look nice and shiny but also it'll help tame some of the flyaways so it doesn't look really poofy so yeah, after you do all that, you can just like finger style the hair, you can pin it into an updo or do whatever you want it to do. And that's pretty much it. And then before I end this video, this wig right here, I actually bought it. Um, it was like $10. It was like in the clearance bin or whatever. Just a really, really cheap synthetic wig. And I figured $10, why not? But it was wavy and I didn't like that about it. So I did the same thing. But instead of putting rollers in it and doing all that stuff, I just put it on this mannequin head and actually just put this whole thing in the sink then just poured the boiling water from the top and let it run down that'll go in and relax all the curls out of it and now you can see that the wig is straight um, and then I just went in and added a whole bunch of like choppy layers and stuff like that because it's again just a $10 wig so it doesn't really matter if it gets messed up but yeah same thing but instead of adding curl I took it away and yeah, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until my next one, I will talk to all of you soon. Bye.